Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome aboard. I'm doing a DC Boston today, and as you can tell, I have the latest Zebo upgrade for the 737-800. I mean, it's already fogging up. Look at that! Wow, I haven't even seen this yet myself. But let's run it through its paces and see what we got. And while the APU is starting up, I'm gonna turn on the hydraulics here and turn on the window heat. Uh, we're on ground power, so the window heat should not be a problem there. And the APU is spooling up. <coughs> Already filed a flight plan for American 2806 is the um, call sign we're gonna be using today. So we'll go with that. Just waiting for this to come up and be available. There we go. APU is available. Nice. So we can start the bleed. And bleed is on. The air pressure is rising on both. Temperature right now seems to be about 20 C Celsius. Um, I'll leave it on auto for now. See what kind of temperature we get out of it. Adjust it later on if we have to. Not a problem. Let's go ahead and um, position lights are already on steady. That's good. We'll leave that for now. No smoking sign because we're going to be fueling. And if we want coffee, we got to turn on the galley power also. So we'll do that. All right. So they're set there. Look at that. Windows cleared up already. Wow. And this mod is beautiful. All right, let's call up the ATIS and see what we got. ATIS for, uh, actually we're using Dulles. Dulles to Boston, is that what I said before? Not DC, Dulles to Boston. ATIS for Dulles is 12485, let's call it up. Washington Dulles High North and and on the factory and runway live on the official contact. You have information we know. Washington Dulles International Airport has information we know. 2520, Land 170 and 3, Visibility 10, Cloud at 5500, 8000 over Temperature minus 2, 2.16, Altimeter 3008, Arrivals expect ILS and visual approach runway 19 left, 19 center, Depart runway 30, Runway 19 left. Simultaneous approach is being conducted to far runways. Notices to airmen. Numerous planes north side airport and or below 215 feet. Alright, we're we'll going in the vicinity of airport. Read my call runway assignments and read my call hold short instructions. Operating low key on the taxiway and runway live on the middle of contact. You have it. Evening, sir. Stay on board. I also have a uh, number three flight plan. I'll set it to you via private message. Let me know if you're able to accept. Uh, we got information Lima. Uh, right. uh, let's call up and see if we get our flight plan cleared. And good evening, Dallas uh, Brown, the American 2806, requesting out for our clearance to Boston. American 2806, still carrying GDP, sir. I don't have a flight plan filed for you. Would you mind refiling, please? I will go ahead and refile American 2806. Uh-oh. File a flight plan um, via... Sim Reef is what I use, but looks like I didn't get it through Sim Reef. Still conscious, so DC 2011, holding some Julia on Julia 2, ready for taxi. Chesapeake 2011, taxi 50 South Romeo Rams for delayed departure via Juliet Alpha Zulu. Juliet Alpha Zulu, Chesapeake. Swan. 
Brass, Juliet 42 Airway, Robbinsville VOR, J22 Airway, JFK, and Roebuck 3. That's what we're going to file today. And one day I'll show you guys uh, Simbri for those of you who have used it before. But this is what I'm going to file. Uh, let's go ahead and file it right now. Give it a few seconds. And then um, call up again. See if we get clearance in the squad code on this. And all this ground, American 2806 again. Uh, we just filed the flight plan to Boston requesting IFR clearance. American 2806, uh, I have to send this through flight plan. I'll send it to you via private message. Let me know if you feel good. Yeah. Roger that. here shortly, pop it up, see if we can do it, go with that flight plan. Probably going to change the departure and a little bit different routing, but it should still be Robo 3 in Boston, that's normally what they use this time of year. While we're doing that, let's go in here. Ring 2806, you know, I'll just uh, ask you to be a voice. Are you able to accept the Jacoby 3 departure Swan transition NFL? Jacoby 3 Swan transition is, a, is um, Roger, let's go. American 2806. American 2806, clear to Boston Air. Jacoby 3 departure Swan transition NFL. Maintain 3000, expect flight level 31010, right after departure. Departure frequency 126.10, block with 30. And that's Jacoby 3, uh, Swan Tradition has filed, and then take 3000, expect flight level 310, 10 minutes after departure, departure frequency is 126.10. Didn't get the squawk code, American 2806. American 2806, squawk 5632, 5632. And we're going to be squawking 5632, American 2806, three back in. You can expect runway 30 for departure. Tell us also that 30 is 08. Quick and start at the registration. Call up the taxi. Runway 30, ultimate is 3008. And we'll call the taxi. American 2806. Alright, not bad. We've got everything that we needed. We'll call me 30. Change. Let's type in the squawk code before we forget. Squawk code 5632. Awesome. And before we start putting our flight plan, we number the person I for you for you. Let's start doing the announcements here. American. Go back. Delta sixteen sixteen Bellows Ground, good evening, sir. Clear to LaGuardia Airport, did Jacoby three departure, Agri transition in the south, may say three thousand, expect flight level two three zero one zero at Tap departure, departure frequency one two six one one zero, squawk five six one six fifty six sixteen. Alright, let's put in the flight plan here. LaGuardia is in the Agri transition. Uh three thousand two three zero one zero departure. That's one two six one one zero. Swan. So the 1616 route back is correct. for departure. Bill is also going to be 008. Push and start at your own discretion. Call for taxi. Here from your 3 0 is a favorite. Look at our discretion. We will uh, call for taxi. Thanks. Ground air at 1092 Ready to pass the American 9320, Bill Strong, good evening, sir. Clear to Kennedy Airport via Jacoby 3 departure, Agar transition in the south, maintain 3000. Spec level 27310, match up to departure, departure frequency, person. My apologies, expect flight uh, 1717,000, one three departure, departure frequency 126.10, clock 5645, 5645. Okay, that is, we have three, 
Archer, I did. Uh, transition, and uh, 3,000 feet. Archer is uh, 26.1, and Fox, I said 4,000. Fox, I said 4,000. Check our departure here and let's check our room. American 9329 is back in. Correct. You can expect runway 30 for departure. Double call 73008. Pushing start is at your end of pressure. Call for taxi. 9329, thank you. Looks like we're going to be busy today, but guess what? Routing looks good. No discontinuities here, so we're going to go along with that. We are good to go. And we just got to put in our fuel data. Now we're using Simbrief, that's why I got the Alava runway, which can change in Boston, but we don't know what Simbrief says, there's two to left. <coughs> and as far as fuel is concerned, uh, 13,500 pounds of fuel. So, 13.5, yep, go back. 13.5. That's fuel. And, uh, the fuel reserves are going to be uh, 2,000 pounds of fuel, so And then um, the zero fuel rate is 116.7. 116.7. Well, actually, let's use the payload. It's going to be 28.4. Take that back. Which gives us a total of uh, zero fuel rate of total load of 132.2 that actually this was 24.8 ah, whatever it's off based on the here we go 29.6 perfect alright so we can go to the init page because everything is filled in we just hit the zero through weight populate it for you reserve I said it was 2000 and negative 2.0 uh, Simbrief says our cost index today is going to be 10 oh, okay we're heavy, that's why. Flight level 310 is a cruising altitude. 18,000 feet for the transition. Uh, the winds today at the top of climb is going to be 215 at 124. Yep. Slash 124. And basically, this is the most tedious part when you're doing a flight. I did the wrong place there. Is filling out the perf page. Make sure we get it right. And then at the top of climb, it's going to be minus 51 degrees, negative 51 Fahrenheit. And it's going to be the outside air temperature at the top of climb. And we're good to go. Execute that. Uh, outside air temperature, I'll select it's minus 1. It's cold. D rate looks good for me, 95.6. We'll leave it at that. So it gives me takeoff with flat 5. 128, 129, 141 is V2. So we're going to set 141 plus 15 hours go, makes it 156. So we make it 156 on the speed. That's my climb out speed for me. That's based on my airline. <laughs> and then we said maintain uh, 3000 until further altitude clearance and climb by the set. Uh, so that's set up and good to go. Plan. Good there. All right. Extend the range on this a little bit on the second monitor. All right. Let's turn on all our fuel pumps. Let's also turn on the fast seatbelt sign because we get close and set our flight altitude uh, 31,000 feet. Captain Hatch, you're on the fast seatbelt. Time with your exit all passengers. Please check the at this time. I'm going to be stopping your seatbelt. Check the temperature here. A little too warm, but hey, it's cold outside. I'm going to be cooling off just slightly. Two bodies on board, so get the temperature down a little bit. All right, so we've put in our fuel, we've put in our route, we've put in our heading, our altitude. And our speed, actually, heading, let's check the heading based on what the SID says. And in the meantime, let's have the captain make some announcements to the passengers. 
This used to be automatic with the um, sound mod, but now it's manual. So we'll go announcements uh, and welcome aboard. Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, welcome aboard our flight today. Wrapping up the final bit of work here as you get your annual wave momentarily. We want to thank you so much for your company and business. We invite you to sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Again, welcome aboard. Air Jeff from Big Fifty Bill Cal will be back in about a uh, minute and 30 seconds. Alright, just checking our departure SID, which is of the Jacoby 3. See what it says if we need to do anything special on it. And what did you call the three? If we're leaving runway three zero, climb heading three zero one to eight twenty, then right turn heading three twenty, and expect radar vectors by the ATC. We're going to need vectors to rigids. There we go, vectors. Riggins, there we go. So we're going to climb heading uh, 301. Yeah, that's going the other way. Hey, Chris, I'm going to be kind of thing. Alright, let's set up our pushback. Let's see where we got to go. Use a better pushback plugin. Set everything Ground up. to cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. All right, let's just scan out here a little bit and see where we are in the field and where runway 30 is. So we can know where we need to go. All right, so based on where we are, runway 30. So we're going to be going nose right. All right, cool. We're going to be going this way. 30 is going to be down here. I love this plugin. This plugin is so useful. It's ridiculous. There we go. So I'll push back to around here. Nice. <coughs> Ground to cockpit. Toe is dropping up. 20 and 11 release is available in by the Ready Package. Here comes the tug. And let's set the power frequency in the meantime. 120.1. Alright, so we're going to go It's good to have coverage today. Usually there's no coverage. Alright, awesome. And while he's doing that, let's close up all the doors. Anti collision to on. And let's turn on our transponder so we can squawk. And we got the fuel pumps on. Good. Hydraulics is on. Window heat is on. Altitude set. Uh, we're going to turn off the first Okay, components. all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Sure you are. Yeah, let's take a quick outside tug view here. I love this view. Look at that. Ground Jet Peak 2011, ready to continue taxi information. Jet Peak 2011, I'm like, please do a taxi via Zulu Gate to West. Please do a via Zulu Gate to West. Please do a via Zulu Gate to West. Please do a via Zulu Let's do it that one. Down. No, that's good. So connected and bypass been in service. Release parking brake. Here we go. Now we're going to start the clock start over the here. Set. And you may start it. It's going to be from gate to gate, and then we'll start the other one over here for the flight time. Right, here we go. Turn that off. Sorry, nope. Wrong. Turn off the bleeds. And let's start the Got N2 rotation, about 20% or so. We're gonna have to put in some fuel to start that. Love that bass sound of the F mod. It's beautiful.
Draw to cut out. Draw number one. Settled. And one into a settled also. So, gems. You don't eat. Turn off AP bleed. Put on engine bleed. And turn the packs on. Pressurization. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Okay, so, parking brake set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Temperature is still good. Like that temperature. Just be 2011 contact, so it's packed with the vehicle when they are having a safe flight. 1, 2, 0, 5, 1, test Alright, set the flaps. Flaps 5, 2, 5. Auto brake is an RTO. Flat directors can come on. Let's see if our flaps are coming down. Yep, flaps are coming down nicely. Slots are out. Good gear. The yard damper is on. Alright, so overhead looks like it's ready to go. Damper is on continuous. So it's disconnected. On bypass then has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. If you can come off. Awesome. Let's go over here and check flight instruments. Left, right, up, down, elevator is good. Elevator is good. Awesome. And there, there's a truck. There it is. Hey, buddy. Thank you. See you. And recall checked. Everything is all set to go. Put on my taxi lights here. And let's call ground for a taxi. Dallas ground, American 2806, ready for a taxi. American 2806, I'm at 3-0, taxi to Zulu, Yankee 11. 3-0 for to Zulu, Yankee 11, American 2806. Here we go. So I'd like to turn on a terrain radar, even though it's low out here. That's a tower right there. Aircraft is number three on my list. Top two are the IXCG and the Flight Factor, which I'll be flying some more and recording those two. But for a freeware, this is number three on my list. Easily number three on my list, without a question. Uh, no traffic left. So it's ground the engine jumping 71 when it's DI. So traffic right. Yes, and I think this is Zulu. Yeah, blue 71 Dallas Ground, good evening, sir. Uh, flight level is in south for direction of flight, you're able to accept one seven seventeen thousand. Alright, taxi is so Jet nice. Jet blue 71. 
Here to Kennedy Airport, BHP Cobra 3 departure, Tiger transition limits, maintain 3000, expect 177,100 to seven departure, departure frequency 126010, squat 561256, call. Mega 2806, contact Dulles Tower, 120.10, have a safe play, we'll see you next time. Over the tower, American 2806. And Dulles Tower, American 2806, uh, ready to go runway 30. Uh, American 2806, turn heading 3, either on Parker. Wind 1703, runway 30, clear, takeoff. Heading 320 on departure, runway 30, clear for takeoff, southwest 2806. Start on the clock. Uh, departure is going to be 1261. Let me set that real quick. All right, so we got flap set, three big armed, order throttle will need to be armed, lights on, just got to spool up to 40%, no traffic coming in, not under the TCAS, and we're going to head to heading mode when we take off, so let's go to heading there. Contact Park 16.10 for 
Over to departure, once it's come up one zero, good night. One thousand. And departure, American Tornado 6, 2300 for 3000. American 2806, OG departure, radar, contact, uh, turn right heading 360, I'm maintain 10,000. Right, 360, 16,000, 2806. Alright. Watch your speed. Bring up one, not your flaps. 2,001, climb maintain one. Climb and maintain one zero. Nice. Climb and maintain one zero thousand. American 2806, turn right heading zero six zero one, able to see direct Riggins, one of the Kobe three departure. Right zero six zero, direct Riggins, the Kobe three departures. American 2806. All right, now the right turn. Bring up full flaps. All hand flying here. We should try to hand fly up to like 10,000 feet. Let's start the climb. Three eight zero six contact with Washington Center one three three point seven two. Number plate one three three point seven two. Good day, American twenty eight zero six. I'm bringing out a pilot here. All right, so autopilot is not doing what I wanted to do. So let me have a flight. Departure ten C two thousand eleven. When are we going to get up? Just took a lot of game delay back here. Center American 2806, 5800 for 16,000. American 2806, Wash. Hello. Chase direct Bross, climb maintain flight level 270. Uh, direct Bross, flight level 270, American 2806. while you're working, but hey, that's the fun of flying with ACC on the line. It can be real busy sometimes. Alright, so we're going to red grass. Traffic's on. Not at 10,000 feet yet. Let's sync up the heading here. There we go. Feet. 
flight. Uh, pressurization is good. Cabin is pressurizing here. That's good. Aha, uh -huh. forgot to put on the strobe light. Not a problem. Everything else is good to go. We are climbing. Cabin temperature is still good. Gentlemen, the seatbelt sign will be switched off shortly. However, for all safety, we recommend that you keep your seatbelt busy fast in case of any unexpected turbulence. We have an excellent team on board today, and we all have the top behind the assistance you may require throughout the flight. Our in-flight entertainment has begun. All right, let's put it back in the nap time. That will increase the speed, the climb speed. Put the nose down just a little bit so we can get that speed and then we start climbing again. Climbing up. Thinking about getting the Zebo mod for the 737. Definitely get the Zebo mod for the 737. Right now it is the best 73800. Well, Spring Dog 7085, Spring Dog, your alpha with the Echo Dog. Okay, we're clear, Dirk Sod, uh, alpha Spring Dog 7085. So our climb speed is 270, as you can tell. Cruise speed is going to be Mach 0.780, which is also my full speed. And right now... We're at 2806, climb 18, flight up to 310. Up to flight level 310, American 2806. Alright, and top of descent right now is still about 200 miles away. So in about... 30 minutes we're going to be descending at the top of the descent. That might change during the um, cruise phase. But it should be a one hour flight, so about 30 minutes top of the descent. About 25 minutes to get into Boston. Can't remember if I have ortho scenery for this area. I think I do. Looks like ortho. Yeah, it is ortho. And if I'm not mistaken, that's Baltimore we're flying over right now. Let's see. Can't see anything in the clouds. By the way, I'm using um, XM Viro. Yeah, that is XM Viro that I'm using. But it's XM Viro 1.06. 1.07 right now has too much haze, and I hate it. But 
hopefully one point away it should be coming out soon. Are you back yet? Everyone proceed to Rex Donnell. Just enough to get you 
relax the crew before you start the descent again. I'm looking up here. See the star and stuff. Flight attendant view when they come into the cockpit. To Hi, Bara. Uh, sorry. What? Come to the cockpit to offer some more coffee. So, uh, we've been, 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 uh, this one. I have a coffee and a cup of Leah. Fresh cup of coffee. <laughs> With the bubbles and everything. Yeah, pretty cool. I think in the Ag CG they actually have this move during turbulence. Their plane is bumping, they have the coffee moving. Take a couple frames to do that, but hey, it's pretty cool. I haven't done the RG mod for this cockpit yet to make it a little darker textures. Uh, I'm not sure if I will do it. I'll watch some more videos and see if I like it so far. I was like, ah, it wasn't for me. Washington Center, here at the top I have a question for you. I'm still learning. And uh, my star arrival for a small girl. Uh, the altitude that are trying to have to watch my head or back to the altitude. Uh, the <coughs> so it's good to ask questions if you don't know. One of them is not the Sunday. The Sharkhaft National Commission of Government at the Washington Alderberg is Reserves Yard. Right? Yeah, especially if you're flying for the first time online or second or third time and due to it. Definitely ask questions. The controllers will help you, help you out and give you tips and pointers to make your flight better. I was didn't know the link or didn't know the language, didn't know how to file the plans, all that stuff. And I was like, you're, you're going to get it sent via the arrival, and um, you're just going to follow the uh, drop restriction uh, as the arrival says. Okay, so I quite understand this, I'm assuming you're going to have time to help me. That's right. Number one nine or seven to the house negative. It's just gonna fully cross the rest of your the star. Um, so whenever I'm gonna give you a descent, it's just gonna descend across all the waypoints at the altitude you should be at. Um, it's gonna be adding a descent theater. Okay, so you're gonna be adding a descent theater. Alright, copy, sir. Seven for something. Uh, let me go ahead and. Great dog, 1785. Please direct the aisle. Sierra, India, Echo. Blue 7 U1, third time back to Sonic City VR, Alpha Drilly. Blue 7 U1, third time back to Sonic City VR. Blue 7 U1, third time back to Sonic City VR. American 2806, contact your center 125.32, good night. 125.32, good night, American 2806. Mm -hmm. Good evening, New York Center, American 2806, flight level 310. American 2806, here, So 
some point Zebra is going to make this FMC app, which is going to be awesome. So, so I have to keep up two different pages on it. But the work he's done is here. Uh, it's so remarkable. It's not even funny. It's the, it's your, if they were given out x Plane Awards, it would be the freeware of the year. Or 2017 or 2018, because this is well worth it. Number two freeware for me would be the uh, Better Pushback plugin. Awesome developers put tools in Explain that's well needed and well accepted by everybody. American 28, you're set to direct news, cross news, but that uh, avenue takes on a little piece of that. Uh, direct news, cross news at our level, flight level 270, American 2806. Alright, so. American 28, you're set to negative, cross news at and maintain, flight level 270. And cross news at and maintain, flight level 270, American 2806. Alright, so we're going to plug in the news right there, and execute it. Plus, we want to use that flight level 270, so let's amend that. See if this helps out the FMC. Now let's do this. Um, let's close news at 280 knots. 280 slash 280 slash 270. There we go. So that updates everything in the uh, flight director. So now my descent um, is going to be in 10 minutes from now versus what it was before because I got a shortcut. And so that's how you do it. You go in the FMC, just update whatever the crossing restriction is. And that should, in a good FMC, recalculate the VNAV path. And so here's my top of descent coming just about uh, 50 miles away. So now I can plan for that. Unlike the Airbus, which I still like now, never flew it before until the flight factor. You can just set the altitude, 270, and the plane will start descending by itself once you're on the VNAV. Maintain the VNAV path. Sometimes you want to go in the FMC, check all the restrictions, make sure that it is accurate as to what the star says. So this says FEX at flight level. Two three zero. That's correct. Your center is to the All in is above. Back key is above. Sixteen. Robock is below. Flight level one nine zero is correct at two six zero knots. Uh, I'm sorry. Last two. Crab two fifteen twelve. Well, oh, hello again. Uh, here, here we go. Where are you going? Flight is 8,250. Perfect. Uh, where? Correction, is that, uh, where am I going? Okay, I got it. I got it now. Uh, the river six nine Uh, do you, uh, did that flight follow or do you just want to, uh, depart and, uh, go on to the It's close enough. I'll just, uh, depart and find you stuff. And you go to 283 with me, runway 27, taxi via Charlie and Alpha Cross, runway 3 Alpha Mitter at 0 to 3012. 3012 and taxi 27 via Charlie Alpha Cross and 34. 283 with me, thank you. Alright, so the bottom altitude on the sit and the star is 5,000, which is set, so that's all. Okay, you're going to get in one of the 78,000 for a month, 1,000. American one to six here, seven to two grand. American one to seven thousand. I'm gonna try uh, listen to Adis for Boston. Here we go. Bird, 
to a true true life. Learned and told for an operation of learning check. All aircraft reach and call both short and 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 Option loads and airport and to make range and with a Left, two zero, one zero and a hydra. Left, zero to make all you and lift. You call that, two zero problem. Temperature minus four, two point one one zero. Now finger three zero one nine zero. Visual approach is the fun way to do it well as two shells and move. The center point one one two eight two right are in the backboard. All aircraft read may call all short and short questions at the specified time to the left. Then your tattoo to left and to move. 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 Alright, that was confusing, but I think I got information. Whiskey, altimeter 3019, and 2 2 left or right visual. I think that's what I got from the ATIS going into Boston, so at least we have that information. And then I look at the chart for Boston. Two to left and right, let's see. Yeah, I gotta get this up on the screen. So, Alright, two to left and right, I see where you are. Um, yeah, okay, so they're gonna be landing sounds. Not a problem, we can do that. So that's gonna change my arrival here. Out of a runway 27. Actually, no, out of a 22 left, so I'm correct. Good, so I won't really set up there. If they put me at 22 right, I can easily switch over on that. As a matter of fact, now that we're even planning the descent soon, I'm going to do a flat 40. So it's going to be flat 40, speed 131 plus 5, 4136. The ILS frequency is 110.3. Let's put that in. And then the heading is going to be 210. Let's put that up Awesome. American 136, stage up to 7000, Boston Center 134.7. Maintain 17000, 34.7, American 136. So it looks like we're all set up. We're set up for 22 left right now, I'm not changing 22 right. But heading is 272, confirmed on the charts, and 111.3. So it's 272. That's correct. Jump with 237, uh, they just remain physical. So it looks like we start the descent. Here it is. And it's going to follow the middle. Put a little drag in it. Get the speed drop. American 28, to the Boston Center, 134.7. Over to Boston Center, 134.7 today. Boston Center, 134.7. Boston Center, 134.7. Boston Center, 134.7. Out of flight level 297 American 2806, Boston Center, engaging, clear, direct, OB, expect on white pizza. And direct, Uzi, I expect one way, 27, American 2806. American 2806, direct to OB, Alpha, Romeo, Oscar, Victor, India. Ah, direct, Provi, and run, expect one way, 27. This was wrong. 
Seabury 29 Jones, Common Main, Saint Pro Level 370. I'm making a level 370 to 59 Jones. Version 25 Bravo, descend at discretion, main thing for level 240. What's the message again for the control, I'm sorry? Version 25 Bravo, descend at pause discretion, main thing for level 240. Descend on discretion, main thing for level 240, version 25 Bravo. So we got a change here. We're actually going to have um, to go to runway 27 now. Sorry, we got to change. We're going to go to runway 27. So. Hey, guys, we're calling you from runway 27. Take it. Uh oh. I disregard. Yeah, so we're going to go to runway 27 instead. So let's do that. Go American 2806. Yeah, the robot three arrival. Runway 27. Off the runway 27. Send by the robot through arrival. Uh, and the altimeter is 309 at 806. American 106, direct half deep, common main chain, portable 330. Direct half deep, up to flight level 330. Carry 1001, button center. Alright, so. The probably crossing shift is 11,000. And we are currently 90 miles from Kobe, so based on the um, Care 1001 bumper, VNAV path, we're going to maintain this altitude until a certain time that we can uh, cross Kobe at, at about 11,000. If you look here, there's Kobe right there. Now let's set this to 11,000. Basically, we are manually flying the descent here. We're off VNAV because VNAV, um, I guess, got corrupted. Yeah, this is the thing, the Southern State Park right now. I would be wrong. Yeah, it wasn't 17 back on Yeah, it was 11 17 uh, right there. The. Get you. Talk to me. Please go to
It's basically the same that I'm 8,000 feet too low right now. So I guess it's working. Let's trust it. Stop our descent, catch up on the green out path. And actually, let's activate VNAV with a speed into VNAV. Let's do that. There we go. Awesome. So it's catching up faster. Look at it. Let me take a screenshot of this. Version 25 Bravo, and then I think we've been in the same level of two clips to get. I'm going to use that shot. Um, two clips, so we're down to the same level of two clips to get. Version 25 Bravo, the descent can start now. The set in the same clip level two six zero. Okay, my bad. Just send the tempo on two six zero, version twenty five Bravo. Version twenty five Bravo. Traffic to twelve to eleven o'clock. Still four point zero miles. Out direction going seven thirty seven. That's currently available two five zero. So that's the reason for the twenty six thousand altitude. Once the aircraft is starting to descend, I'll be able to have more view. Okay, Roger, well, thank you for the duration, version twenty five Bravo. Alright there buddy, I'm gonna start my descent soon. I guess this is this guy here who wants to cross my path. So he's gonna climb up and cut over and I'm gonna go down. American 2806, confirm your descent via the robot free arrival for a mic descent. Affirmative, uh, descending now via the robot free arrival for a 27 American 2806. Yeah, let's start my descent. United 1117, cross Bobby, how to maintain 9,000. The boss of Alpha 3020. Lobby at 9,000, 2 comes the VNF path. Hit it again. There we go. It's going to drop the speed, I know that, but... It's going to make me descent first. It's going to slow me down now, so let's do some speed breaks here. There we go. Awesome. And the VNF path, right here. Perfect. Descend is going down, we're going to cross probably at above 11, and go all the way up, come back to 27, nice, beautiful. Alright, let me go ahead to see belts early, before I forget. Delta 7832, cross Calverton, had a name team 12,000, the Kennedy Alternator 2014. Get some lights going. It's getting dark. Down the trail, guys, and we've got a nice thing to keep on doing. Ah, X-Plane even lighting is so beautiful. Look at that. Back on the VNAV path, got to speed in the system, awesome, and we 
are set to 11,000. We can turn Version 25 Bravo, defend uh, and maintain for level 2 zero, zero. We're going to be able to use here to like 25 Bravo. Quality 15, it's been a high discussion, main 2 4 zero. DD down to Bravo 2 4 zero for round quality 15. Ah, land down to 2 4 zero. Okay. American 2806, can I call off approach 118.25 tonight? Over to approach 118.25 tonight. Yep. And just remember that was American 2806 from the last call. And that's for American 2806, over to approach 118.25 tonight. Yep. Okay. 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 Boston approach, uh, American 2806 descending via the Robot 3 arrival, uh, descending below 18,000 foot. Uh, okay, 20 zero ten. Uh, for leaving, confirm you have information in X-ray. Uh, getting information in X-ray now, American 2806. Thank you, sir. Descend via the Robot 3 arrival, run up to 7 miles from Alpha, and there are 302. Ultimately, a 3020 to send by the Roman Crew Rebel 2806. There we go. Boston departure, Sun Country 252. Climbing to 900,000 on the Highland 5. Sun Country 252, Bob, for the state of the Climb to 9.5, Sun Country 252. Last three to five thousand pilot deviation. I maintain one per thousand. I maintain one four thousand. Okay, two fifty two. Okay, two
was in that club. Alright, so we're still on the VNAV path. The plane is flying beautifully. All set on the overhead here. Landing altitude set. Cabin altitude coming down good. Make sure it is on. No visual moisture outside, so we don't need that yet. It's a clear sky monster. Feet. We're going to hit the lights. Yeah, this plane is flying these crossing restrictions beautifully. And approach, this is Cessna 6198 with you, uh, 2100 climbing for 3000. Cessna 6198 Boston, Mark, good evening. Radar contact passing 2200, climb to maintain 5000. Up to 5000 for 661908. 661908, climbing 300, when able to see direct test Right to 300, then when able, direct test code 66100. Uh -huh. Almost forgot. Didn't change it for runway 27. I need to do that. 272 for runway 27. And heading 272. Uh, 272 is in. 11.3. Uh, left 360, to maintain 4,000. Left 360, descend maintain 4,000. Target 1117, descend maintain 7,000. 7,000, 1117. Alright, so I'm getting vectors. Down to 4, 360, that's going to put me at Lona. Loner. 
Dragon 28060, center maintain, out. 2000 Dragon 2806. So let's hit the localizer. It's going to pick up the localizer here. 34.7. Thanks for a good job. Good. I'm going to um, right. blow the Our glide, which is good. Let's go over the top. All right, so below the glide, localizer is going to come in nicely. It's going to make the turn to slow down to 180. And let's get flaps out. Boston Tower, American 2806, visual runway 27. Runway 27 clear to land, American 2806. Alright, so localizer picked up. We are all off, and we're gonna press the approach. That's gonna arm the glide slope. I know it's a visual, but hey, this helps me to land this bad boy nicely. Bringing all the lights. This gear's gonna come down here shortly. Right lights, that set, that set. And the landing was 136. Currently about six miles out, so let's start slowing it down. Get the gears down too.
Or if I have to read my head, it's like that. That's going to come down. 30. Contact you for it for And that's flaps for flaps 40. Gears down. Speed brake is armed. Red land. Traffic departed. Look at that. American 2806, uh, cleared runway 27. 328, uh, I lost on my radar. Uh, you can do with taxiway we're on here. Uh, currently on taxiway... Kilo. Okay, American 2806, you can do with Rock runway 2 Uh-oh, looks like they got disconnected. But I'm going to continue on Kilo, cross runway 2 to right, you were saying. And taxi to the gate, straight ahead. Awesome. Here we go. Nice. Alright, so APU is on. Switch over. Good deal. Turn off these here. We don't need these strobes anymore. Even though we're going to be crossing active runway. Let's turn on the logo light. Kill these lights here. Kill these. The taxi light, which is kind of dim, but it's all good. Alright, so leading in flaps are coming in. It's good. Flaps are up. Speed brake is down. Auto brake is off. Yeah, we lost.
And Boston Grand American Tornado 6, uh, taxiway Kilo, going to the ramp. Good evening. Taxi to the ramp by uh, Kilo Alpha. Uh, to the ramp, Kilo Alpha, American 2806. So crossover, Alpha is going to make a right turn over here. Yep, that's Alpha right there. Alright, now we can also turn off the probes. Good. Survey to Yes, sir. Uh, am I following the traffic in front of me? Okay, you want to monitor? Traffic behind us. Right. Traffic 2011, cross 115 left November and monitor tower 1218. We got a gate over here that we're going to go to. Cross 15 left on November and monitor tower 128-20. Stopping. Good deal. Turn off the taxi light so I don't blind the guy. Hey, yeah. 2-1, cross from your one side left. Cross one side Collision. Good. A two one short two two right. Contact tower one two eight twenty eight. Nice light. Overhead lights. Tower tower twenty eight twenty eight twenty eight. All right. So, gate to gate. One hour seven. One hour and seven minutes forty seconds. And flight time was only fifty eight minutes. Awesome. Good. Not bad. Actually got it on time. And uh, let's check. Yard damper, good. Turn off fuel pumps here. Put it on ground power. Leave that one running. Because it's providing cooling temperature, well, not warming temperature. But we're going to turn off the windshield. Um, system. Put in the APU. Turn off the engine bleeds. APU bleed is coming up. Maintain the temperature from the cabin. The airplane is going back out. And as you can tell, it is minus three outside. Awesome. Is that right? Yep, it's not right. Alright guys, thanks for joining me in this flight. Uh, short flight from Dulles to Boston and um, keep an appreciative Zebra mod. Here's another American going out right now. He's heading up somewhere. Just probably push back. Nice. But um, this is a free rare aircraft, guys. Donate to Zebra if you can. Don't forget to because he's doing an amazing job on this. This is also another good free rare, Mr. X. He makes all these free rare airports for explain. There's nothing like it out there. All right. All right. Thanks very much for joining me. And have a good evening.